Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi hosted a group of U.S. executives in Beijing on Monday. They are on a week-long visit to China, gaining insights firsthand following the conclusion of the third plenum. The companies, including Goldman Sachs, Boeing, Micron, and Qualcomm, all of whom have a substantial business presence in China. During the meeting, Wang Yi reiterated China's firm stance on comprehensively deepening reforms and promoting Chinese-style modernization. He highlighted China's resolve to maintain focus in pursuing high-quality development and share opportunities with the world to better empower the global economy. Wang Yi told the business leaders that the reforms aim to overcome bottlenecks in the development process, remove obstacles in various institutions. Institutional systems stimulate and enhance social vitality, and provide a strong driving force for the realization of Chinese-style modernization. We follow the right path chosen by the Chinese people. We will neither copy foreign models nor export Chinese models. We are ready to strengthen exchanges and integration with other countries on the basis of equality and mutual respect. One also said that Beijing is willing to strengthen communication with other countries on the basis of equality and mutual respect, and work hand in hand to advance China-U.S. relations along the way to modernization. China's policy toward the United States has been consistent and stable. We always hope to handle affairs with the United States in accordance with the three principles of mutual respect. Peaceful coexistence and winning cooperation. We have always been committed to strengthening cooperation with the United States, managing differences, strengthening and expanding dialogue and cooperation, and striving to make China-U.S. relations stable and sound and move forward. Chair of the U.S.-China Business Council Raj Sabramia said that it is expected that the plenum will stimulate a new round of economic reform and further opening up in China, attract more sustainable foreign investment. All of us here, all of the, all the leaders here, are deeply invested in fostering a strong and balanced U.S.-China relationship, which is in the interests of both countries. Well, this is the first group paying a visit to the Chinese capital following the third plenum of the 20th CPC Central Committee. It's led by Craig Allen, president of U.S.-China Business Council, a Washington-based advocacy group, and Raj Sabrima, CEO of the FedEx Corporation. The meeting lasted around an hour, during which both sides shared their thoughts on strengthening China-U.S. business ties in a swiftly changing international landscape.